bananas. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fortress Strike, and today we're gonna have a little special video where we're gonna combine both a Yu-Gi-Oh and a wrestling discussion. Now, that's not been a happened before in my videos, but why not? I'd like to get things over with because uh, a couple things happened earlier on that have been announced today. So first of all, let's start with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, what happened is that we already got the Astro Pack 7's reveal. So basically, what we got is like only, of course, the three ulties. What we're going to get is Gaia, Dragon and Charger, uh, Castell, and Spell Shattering Arrow ulties. Now, that's kind of a little bit okay, but uh, to be honest with you, it's not really a good set of paths because some cards that are getting reprinted back in here are not actually getting a high value and they're being reprinted as commons and it's pretty useless. We are getting, however, Leo and Ragnar Zero at supers, which is I've been waiting for, which is pretty nice. To be honest with you, I think Ragnar Zero should have been an ultimate because the fact that his effect is just really good and should have been ultimate like My Stroke and Full Time Pop Collaborative. And, yeah, it would have been very resourceful. I mean, I'm even fine with the Leo as a super, but the fact that he kind of did this is insulting. But what's more insulting, if you guys remember level limit area A and B, they become super rares. Like, really? And yet, we're going to have light and shadow and prison mirror as comments. Like, why? We have been having them as comments for many years, but not super rares? Come on! Dragon Ravine will be now treated as a super rare, so that would be great for the Dragoonie players. Uh, Twister will be a super rare, so it's the first time we had it as a hollow in many years. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're gonna, and unfortunately, a lot of people were kind of sad. My friend was kind of sad that Fire Fist Spirit is uh, a common. So it used to be from a rare, now got de demoted to a common. So it's pretty crappy. To be honest with you, this pack is very, very uh, honestly disappointing. It's not worth a lot unless you want to get just a cast deal. A lot of people want to do it. But, like I said, it's... Not a high value at the moment. So, anyway, so that's all I'm going to be talking about. Uh, I won't be discussing about the cards anyway. If you want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead around Facebook or check it out on Cybernet 8610's video. I'll leave it in the description right there. Uh, yep. All right, but let's talk about the rest then. As an official, something just went unbelievable. Uh, as you remember in my last video, I did mention the fact that TNA lost their contract with Destination America. Right now, they'll be still playing some episodes um, probably of next Wednesday, they said around 9. But, something just happened, and now we're actually going to have the Wednesday Night War. That's right, Wednesday Night is where we have NXT and the WWE Network, Lucha Underground and El Rey. TNA has already been moved now to Wednesdays, but something just now got added. And for the first time in history, now this wrestling company is going to be in a live TV show action. And I'm talking about Ring of Honor. That's right, guys. A huge middle finger to TNA. Destination America just now got Ring of Honor into being part of the show. And it starts next Wednesday at 8. Now, when you're thinking about this, you're thinking, is Ring of Honor going to be like a one-hour special? Like, kind of like when they did when they brought back ECW. It was like one-hour special, like one hour to show, and that's it. And then we're going to have, like, and then, like, afterwards, Ring of Honor, we're going to have TNA at 9. Now, that could happen, but at the same time, it's like one hour of, of Ring of Honor. That's very disappointing. Now, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen, because we know TNA is going to be lost their contract with uh, Destination America, and only their, sh their tapings of the show so aren't going to last until September. I'm possibly going to know that Ring of Honor will probably go up from one hour to two hours, or maybe Kahashi has a two-hour special, but we don't know. We don't even know what TNA is being cut off. We don't know for sure, no, honestly, but it's very sad, the fact that because of what Destination America did to TNA... It just pisses me off. I mean, now we're getting Ring of Honor. A lot of people are actually making rumors the fact that Ring of Honor was going to work for Spike TV. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Ring of Honor has like the highest ratings stuff all the for all the best pro wrestling since it's the highest number one independent wrestling show of all time. And um, to be honest with you, I was thinking like, you know, Ring of Honor does deserve kind of a TV special. But at the same time, there's always limits because they take as much time as they want. Because it's wrestling and it's independent. But now the fact that they're going to be on a broadcast TV show, they're not going to be independent wrestling shows anymore. So, well, actually, it's still kind of independent, but it's, at the same time, it's just kind of be like, wow. 
they're gonna probably gonna like make us see only a couple matches or a few. We're not gonna see a lot, so and it's gonna be like a few minutes, and I'm like, why? We want to see more minutes. We want to see more awesome action stuff. I don't know what else to do. This is the Wednesday Night War. So remember, it's getting NXT, Lucha Underground, TNA, and Ring of Honor. But TNA might have to last a little while until September, as we said before. So anyway, guys, what do you guys think about it? You guys like the packs of, of Astro packs? Honestly, you know, the cards are what if, so they're not really that great. Are you really excited that Ring of Honor is getting their own TV show? And TNA just got butt fucked. Are we gonna are you excited for the Wednesday Night Wars? Because I think I just got excited. Now, unfortunately, I won't lie to you. I'm probably gonna have to be missing it. It's sad face for me because I'm gonna be going to my little cousin's pre-K graduation. Uh, I know it may look some bad to you guys, but uh, he's my little cousin, and I'm like a big brother to him. And I promised to go. I mean, honestly, I did. I was shocked because I just found out today when I just got online a couple hours ago. So. Yeah, I mean, I read. I, I mean, if it was TNA, I would have watched it on YouTube and don't not care. But now it's Ring of Honor. I'm like, well, I have to watch this, and it's at eight, and my thing, and the thing he has to do is at seven thirty. So I'm like, damn. So, oh well, I'm gonna see if I can try to record it, so I don't have to watch YouTube because they make it look crappy, and I don't know if they're gonna upload the whole set. So anyway, guys, like I said before, what you guys think? Leave a comment down below of what you think for both the Yu-Gi-Oh and the wrestling thing. Give this a like, share this to your friends, subscribe if you're new. Like my Facebook page, and this is Fortress Striker, signing off.